Hello everybody, my name is Tit Pleonik and welcome to the new video of the first knowledge base. Today I'm going to comment onboard shots from Slovenian Open National Championship 2020, which was held in Portoro, Slovenia in the middle of June, and where we, together with Gal Potrč Pajk, defended the national title. The goal of the video is to show you boat handling, crew work and tricks and tips of well-sailed first 18 on the windward leeward course. In the video you will be able to see boat handling of a team of two. We are a very light crew with about 150 kilograms in total and the boat gets fully powered very soon. So upwind we've already needed to depower the boat in gusts. During the championship we were rewarded with champagne sailing conditions, sunny weather with wind varying between light and medium. Sustained wind speed was between 7 and 10 knots with gusts up to 14. Preparations before the start are always crucial. Before the starting procedure, check that all the ropes are clean, untangled and nicely bundled. Tension the genical halyard, clip the genical sheets, keep the mainsail sheet behind the cleat, away from the bunch of ropes in the front of the cockpit, so make sure all the ropes and system will hopefully run smoothly. Before the start, you should also trim the sails according to the expected conditions. Take special care about the jig canningen and shroud tensions, which you cannot adjust during the race. Especially over-tensioned jib, as well as the shrouds, can significantly slow you down if the wind drops. For this race, we noticed that the wind picked up in the last minute before the start and lightly tensioned the mainsail outhole. We wanted to start on the pin end because of the expected wind pattern and the shift to the left. And a good start is always the first step to the good result. And this one we did exactly on time and on millimeters to the pin end rip. So, let's get started. Clear, clear, clear. Let's first start with a closer look at the tacking procedure. The first step of every tack is easing about 5 cm of the mainsail sheet. There are few reasons for doing that. Just before the tack you usually move in with your body and opening the mainsail prevents excessive healing on the start of the tack. Slightly open mainsail will also prevent too much healing when you will get powered up on the new tack and you will be able to actually pump with your weight and do the rolling tack. Keep an eye on the helm position. I'm first taking the battle stick on the new windward side and return back to the lee side so we can pump with the crew simultaneously. Based on the tiller position and healing angle is the helmsman who is counting down the pump. The second reason for easing the mainsail is flipping the battles. Together with the bubbly pump you should also sharply pull the main sheet and because the mainsail is already filled in with the wind on the new tack battens will flip easily. With completely tight mainsail sheet you will have much more problems. On the crew position it's crucial to focus on working with the weight and roll the boat as much as possible. Leave the jib slightly open after the boat is on the new course and trim it only after the crew is again fully hiking and the boat is back on course. Sailing upwind in medium to light wind conditions means that the boat is already overpowered in gusts, especially if you are so light team of two. To control the healing of the boat in gusts follow one simple rule. Depower the boat by sailing few degrees higher, so called pitching. First dating is a kill boat and you can take advantage of relatively high kill projected area. When extra power cannot be compensated solely with excessive hiking and pitching higher, you can start to ease the mainsail on the gusts, but you should always immediately trim it back. Because of no backstay, the mainsail is also in the function of the stabilization of the rig and it increases the tension on the forestay. When you open the mainsail, slack on the forestay increases, the jib got deeper and even more powerful. That is, that's why it's crucial to slightly open the jib always when you're opening the mainsail. This is the main specific of the first 18 due to the fact that you don't have any backstay. On the gusty race course it's essential to constantly adjust the trim and the weight distribution to the actual conditions. As you can see we've immediately seen inside and moved slightly forward when the wind dropped. 
If the wind would drop even a bit more, we would start opening the mainsail sheet as well as the jib. In the last part of the upwind leg, we overshoot the lead line because of the continuing left sheet. Of course, that's not what you would wish for, but sailing on the first 18, we didn't lose too much against the other boats because the boat speeds up a lot as soon as you bear away for only a few degrees. Of course, sail trim needed to follow, and in our case, being very light through, we didn't have any, op any other option than opening the sails to control the healing of the boat. For the second part, let's take a short look on upwind sailing and tacking specifics in light wind conditions with wind speeds between 5 and 8 knots. There are not many differences to successfully tack in light wind and the tacking procedure is ex exactly the same as described in the beginning of this video with two main differences. It's more tricky to flap the mainsail buttons and rolling tacks are even more important. In this clip I want to show you that if you don't follow all the steps described in the beginning, tacking in light wind will be hardly successful. Because I didn't ease the mainsail sheet before the tack, I couldn't pull the sheet during the pump and the battens didn't slip, flip. When we notice it, I've sharply tightened the mainsail few times while the gull completely tightened the mainsail cannigan and the battens flipped immediately. Tensioning the cannigan is the least costly way to flip the battens in light conditions. If the wind would be even lighter, we would always tighten the can again before the tack, but of course you should not forget to release it just after the tack. Upwind performance in light conditions really depends on the active work of the whole crew. As you can see, we are constantly working with the weight and the sail trim. Helmsman's main focus is on the speed of the boat and to keep it running. I'm all the time correcting the course so that the boat is fully powered as well as I'm trimming the mainsail, closing it during the gusts and opening when the width drops. Of course we are talking about very small few centimeter adjustments. When the gull is sitting down on the lee side I'm moving all the way forward. On the crew position, Gal is keeping an eye on a constant healing angle of the boat. The goal is about 10 degrees leeward. He is moving in and out whenever needed, making sure that no gust is left out as well as preventing that the boat would become flat and stern would stuck in the water. This is especially important in case of first 18, which is very wide and flat on the stern. Of course, that's not all. Second half of the gull's job is as important as the healing angle, and that's the jib trim. He's slightly opening the jib in the wind holes and trimming it back in the wind and when the gust comes. Of course, these changes should be slightly smaller because the jib trim is also a reference for the upwind angle for the helmsman. You can see that as soon as the wind picked up, we closed the mainsail and the jib, Halsman moved one position backwards so that the crew could easily jump up when the gust came in and we both together pumped the boat. On the upwind course you can allow yourself a bit more aggressive steering and constant work on the tiller. The boat is sailing on a displacement speed, most of the time one rudder is partly out of the water and small corrections of the course won't slow you down. I hope that the video about upwind sailing and tacking in light to medium conditions was clear and understandable. Stay tuned for part 2 where I will explain more details about genical maneuvers and downwind sailing from the same race. Until then, fair winds!